Hello peoples, in today's video we're going to be using an arrow and we're going to test out what I think are some of the best weapons that you could possibly use for this type of ship. It's one of the best dogfighters in the game that we currently have and I wanted to basically let everybody see what the result is going to be by using different types of guns specifically uh, in your build. So we're going to use a mono build which is all laser repeaters. We're going to use combinations of mixed builds where we have ballistic weapons along with uh, energy weapons. We're going to have cannons, all that good stuff. Now obviously I can't test every single possible combination but I'm going to give you a total of five different weapon combination groups that you can use over the course of this video and another one, a part two that I'm going to do just a little bit later on. You will find the links for the builds, specifically the Urkel links, in the video description below. Go ahead and check them out if you catch a build that you particularly want to try out and like and all that good stuff based on the video. And as usual, get your beverage, get your snack, and let's sit back and relax and see how this video goes. So here we are in our VHRT mission. I've got a Vanguard Hurricane that I'm going after. And what I'm going to do here is showcase um, a pretty decent way of dealing with a mono build. So mono build, all the weapons are the same. And in this case, they're all energy. They're all going to drain out of the same energy pool. So I'm going to put my Bulldog and my Panther repeaters into two different weapons group. The thought here is that when one weapon group gets depleted on energy, I can use the second weapon group to continue to fire on the target and keep pressure on taking out the shields. So that's what I've done here. Notice that the hurricane shields have been stripped. Now once you've stripped the target of its shields, basically you want to unleash full maximum firepower to try and take the target out while you have the opportunity. So what we'll do is we'll slow the combat down just a little bit here. As you can see, optimum firing angle, my power capacitor is set to full 100% weapons and now I'm just going to fire all my weapon groups, both of them. I'm going to try and do as much damage as you can see as I possibly can to this hurricane and of course the end result is going to be that just a couple really good bursts and boom, hurricane goes up. So that's kind of what we're looking at for the weapons group and how you want to set them up and why I'm using two different weapons group even though I have a uh, all energy build. Uh, just to give you an idea, you know, let me know what you guys think. Again, you'll find the Urkel link for this particular one with Panthers and Bulldog laser repeaters in the video description below. And after you've played around with it a little bit, come back here, leave a comment or two, and let me know what you think about the build. Now what we're going to do is continue to use repeaters, but we're going to swap out the top Bulldog laser repeaters for ballistic yellow jacket repeaters just to see if there's a difference if they hit harder any of that good stuff we're going to keep the panthers that we have on the wings and um, give it a test see if we can improve the time to kill on a target in the next vhrt mission we have scored yet again another hurricane joy of joy actually this is pretty good because now we can compare the two different versions the mono version build of a laser repeater versus one that has a mixed build with ballistic repeaters. As you can see I have them in two different groups. The yellow jackets I'm only going to use when I'm sure that I'm going to get a hit on the target and predominantly when the shields have been stripped down because you've really got to conserve your ammo in 314 when it comes to um, repeaters. And this is the first target for the mission. So I started off with a fully loaded set of yellow jackets and when we get done killing this one target which is the hurricane let's see what we have for an ammo count now i'm only going to fire my ballistic weapons when i know i'm going to hit because it's kind of scary at how fast you can deplete your ammo if you look i'm already down from 300 rounds to 163 and I haven't really been firing all that much. They just go at an incredible rate. Now here I get some really good hits on the Hurricane because I had a really good opportunity. That's worked to my advantage. I killed the Hurricane as you can see there. But uh, yeah, check out how many, how many rounds I have left in those Yellow Jackets. Not a whole lot and that was the first kill. Now the good thing is I was able to take out the remaining two targets just using my laser repeaters, but it took a while. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind that once you run out 
of ammo in that ballistic weapon, while it's great when you have it, man, it really prolongs the time to kill for the other targets when you don't. So we're going to move on to the third part, which is going to be to replace everything and use laser and ballistic cannons. So we're going to go with Omni Skies and we're going to go with Tarantulas. This is going to give us a much lower fire rate, but a much heavier hitting payload. So let's see how this one goes. Now in the last VHRT mission that we get, the primary target is going to be a Warden, but we do have our beloved favorite Hurricane that we get to face a little bit later on. The key emphasis here is going to be to look at the weapon count and how fast that we are able to take out uh, the Warden and other targets. Just like before, two separate weapons group, the ballistics are in one, the energy are in the other. I'm going to whittle down the shields until I get a really good clean shot. Now we're going to slow it down a little bit just so that we can see how much damage we're doing with each of the cannon shots. We've got a really good shot here. We're going to add in our ballistics and there it goes. Didn't take too many shots. Pretty effective. Pretty quick, I might add. So now we're going to deal with the Hurricane. Now remember, we still have another target in the form of a Valkyrie. The Valkyrie's slower. Might be easier to take the Valkyrie out rather than deal with both at the same time. This will allow me to concentrate on the uh, Hurricane a little bit later on. So that's what I'm going to end up doing eventually. After I joust around with the Hurricane for a little bit, I kind of get annoyed that the Valkyrie is able to take pot shots at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my target real quick and then go after the Valkyrie and take it out. Now the nice thing about using cannons is that Valkyries are bullet sponges. They've got pretty good health, pretty good shields, and they usually take a lot to take out. If you're using repeaters, you'll be on a Valkyrie for a very long time. With the cannons, not so much. Now you do have to land your shots. They do move a little bit slower, so they're a little bit easier to hit with cannons. But as you can see, we've already stripped the Valkyrie shields down. And as soon as we get into a really good position like here, we're gonna hit it with the cannons and take it out. It went down that fast. And take a look at how much ammunition we have left with those rounds. We've already taken out two targets and we still have 222 rounds left. So now with the two targets liquidated, we're going to go after our third and final target, which is the Hurricane. Now, full disclosure, I had to edit this video down a little bit because the Hurricane was in a jousting mode, proving to be a little bit difficult to hit. But also there was a lot of desync issues going on at this particular part of the fight. As you can see, we went from 220 rounds on the Tarantulas down to 105. That kind of tells you how long I was screwing around with this guy. But I think that's mostly to do with the desync issue the rounds just weren't registering. So I wanted to include this because as you can see, we do take out the Hurricane. Uh, takes a little bit longer with a cannon build, I think, but overall, I think the cannon build out of the three builds that we just did in this video is much more effective, particularly the mixed build. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Which one do you think we were able to kill the targets faster? Now we have a part two coming up. There's gonna be two different builds in that one. Maybe a third if I can get it in there and the video doesn't go too long. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And as always, till next time, take care.